Tableau 101, Creating Dashboard Actions. So now I'm going to show you how to configure your sheets once you have them on your dashboard. So what I like to do is when I come here, um, click on the downward arrow, I can actually go to fit and then right now it's in standard. So standard is just whatever um, it is sized on the worksheet, it's going to be that size. So actually sometimes you might want it to fit width or perhaps fit the height or usually I like to fit the entire view so that's really useful but over here um, you can play around with it a little bit and if I fit entire view it will be so small because there's just way too many Pokemon so that's not a good idea um, what you can do here is either fit width which is um, just fitting the width of the container and not the length and then you it can be allowed to scroll so um, next, I'd like to show you how to create actions. So if you go to um, dashboard and actions over here and click action, um, then you'd be able to add a filter. And I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So right now, uh, on the left hand side is the types of Pokemon. And then the right hand side is the Pokemon HP. So what if I'm just interested in, you know, types of Pokemon which are water. So I'm going to click into that and it immediately will filter the right graph here for just those that are water. So if I click on those that are fairies then you can see it has significantly decreased and then it's only going to show you the Pokemon that are um, fairies. So this is a really good way to make sure that you're not bogging down a single graph. Because I know sometimes um, you want to show I want to show types, but all at the same time, I want to show Pokemon and I also want to show HP. And if you're doing too many things on just one graph, sometimes it's in either impossible or it's just too much information for a user to take in. And you might want to think about the flow. So first, I would say, you know, start from a category that's really, really high level and types was definitely less categories than the number of names there were. So that's why I started with types and just think about how the user should think. So they'll come here and say, you know, well, there's so many water Pokemons. I'm going to see what are the water Pokemons. And then I'm going to click into that and see it over here. Or I can look here and say, you know, my favorite type of Pokemon or the one that I'm looking into um, to beat the other player, it needs to be made of steel. So I want to see which those are and I'm going to click into steel and immediately you can get a list of that. So you have to make sure you know your user flow and you can um, design it accordingly. So I'm going to show you again how I created those dashboards and what are the options. So I'm going to go to dashboard, go to action, and then I'm going to add an action filter. So uh, you can name this filter, um, filter if you like, or this, this action if you like. So I'm going to just call it filter one for now um, and then just leave it. So it's asking you what the source sheet should be. So that means that which sheet can the user click onto to drive an action. So right now I'm going to leave it as both, both sheets I want to be able to click into and um, drive an action. And then the bottom here asks you the target sheet. So what sheet can um, will be drilled into after you click onto one of these source sheets. I, I'm going to also allow both of them to be drilled into. And just note over here you can change the different dashboards. So if you want to drill from this dashboard to another dashboard then you can do the same thing. So I'm going to select that. Uh, on the right hand side you'll see run action on. So run action on means that um, what uh, type of uh, reaction you want Tableau to provide to the user when they click on the worksheet. So right now if I click select, that means that every time a user clicks onto one part of the sheet, then it will filter the other sheet. If I click hover, that means that every time the user's mouse hovers up over a part of the sheet, it will drive the action. And then if I click menu, that means that every time the user clicks on an area on the chart and a pop-up link will 
then appear in the tooltip and then you can go click that link to drive the action. So we can um, click select net for now. And then down here it says clearing the selection will. So what happens if you press escape and clear the selection, um, you can choose out of these three options. So you can say leave the filter, you know what? Um, until I click the next filter I want, even if I press escape and press a blank part of the sheet, I want the filter to still stay on. Show all values. So show all values is if you do unclick out of that um, chart and or press escape, then it will show all the values again of all of the sheets and then exclude all values. So exclude values is if you want it to, every time you you don't click onto that chart, then you want the other chart to just show nothing. At the bottom here, it asks what you want to filter by. So right now I'm gonna click all fields and all fields would be any field that these two sheets have in common, then you are able to filter based on those. Um, if you don't, for example, like I only want a specific field to be filtered on, I'm going to select um, selected fields and then add a filter. And then for example, I can say, you know what, I just want to f um, filter based on the type and click OK. And then here it says, you know, you're missing type on um, Pokemon HP. So that means that type is not a common field. So I'm just going to um, remove that and then go back to all fields. Click OK. And then now again, when I click onto this, it'll filter that one and it'll exclude it, all the values because I have not uh, deselected it. Um, now I'm going to go back and show you what it will look like if I do menu. So menu, um, usually you want to give um, titles it for ones that are menu. So I'm going to say C. Pokemon HP and I want to filter from Pokemon and I want to go to a different dashboard so I'm going to go to dashboard 3 and I'm going to um, uh, filter Pokemon HP and I want it to um, show me a menu and then if um, you know po nothing is selected on types of Pokemon then I want it to exclude value in the all fields and then click OK. Okay. So now what happens is every time I click onto this, I will see a pop up here and I'll see C Pokemon HP. And I can click onto that and that will filter the next graph which is in a different page over here. It doesn't have to be in a different dashboard, but it would um, you can also do it on the same dashboard, but usually menu is used to for you to bring the user to a different dashboard. So that's how you add that actions to your dashboard.